Hey everyone, it's Haley Dowd with Red Carpet Report, and I am here on the set of The Fosters talking to the entire cast about season four. Hi, how are Hello. you? I'm good, thank you. How has it been? You just ended season three, and now you're going into season four. So I want to know, how has it been? What episode are you on right now filming? We are currently filming episode seven of season four, which is just crazy to me. I mean, it's mm -hmm. flown by, the fact that we're already on our fourth season is just amazing to me. And yeah. then this first half is already flying by as well. So it's like, it's just crazy to think about. Yeah. And you have dealt, I feel like out of the most, so much drama and so, much so drama. many crazy twists and turns. I want to know, will you ever get out of that? Will you ever oh, be able well, to avoid the drama? On no, the show? it will definitely, <laughs> it won't be ending anytime soon. I mean, just this season premiere alone. Um, yeah. I mean, you were left with such a huge cliffhanger um, so I'm really excited for fans to see, um, you know, as we start up this new season. I mean, there's lots of twists and turns, lots of cliffhangers, and um, yeah, it's just constant drama. This family <laughs> will never be able to run out. <laughs> yeah, and on the last episode, you were dealing with both Matt and Nick, is that right? Right. And you kind of are in a predicament because, you know, you have... Matt, who's proclaiming his love to you, and then Nate, and then Nick. So, what is it like? You know, what does your character ultimately want? Does she want Matt or does she want Nick? Yeah, what do I you think she's torn between both because she loves both separately in different ways. She's always loved Matt. I mean, she she realized she messed up. I mean, it, at one point she thought it was too late for them, and she decided she had to move on. And she really likes Nick. Nick is a great guy. Um, but you know, she's always kind of had that thing for Matt. And so with the play and them kind of experiencing the Romeo and Juliet and it kind of playing really like similar to their lives, mm -hmm. um, it kind of opened those doors back up. And I don't know. I mean, you saw that Nick kind of saw something that he shouldn't have seen. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's definitely going to reflect on like what happens and this next episode yeah I'm excited to know and what has been something for your character that's been difficult in the beginning just trying to figure out about your character that is easier to understand now like when you heard about your character what was difficult about her well I mean I know that you know lots of 15 year olds are kind of trying to find themselves mm -hmm. I mean like everyone is I still am at 21 <laughs> um, but you know she comes from a background where she was adopted and she doesn't know anything about her heritage or her background mm -hmm. so that was very important to her in the beginning seasons and it still is she's still trying to find herself but she was very kind of having like an identi identity crisis you know going with the, the piercing of the nose and dyeing her hair blonde and she grew up with such like a, an amazing blended family but she kind of is mm -hmm. trying to you know have her own personality and find herself so that's that it was interesting to kind of see her like kind of unravel with that, but she's she's starting to find herself. She's I admire how smart she is and and um, fashionable at the same time. Like she she really is all about girl power. That you can <laughs> be anything you want. I love that. And for season four, we saw the trailer, and already it's diving into such big you know situations and big topics that are happening right now in current day. I mean, can you explain when you first got that script? For the cast, what was the reaction like when you saw there would be something involving a school shooting? Well, I mean, that's one thing that always drew me to this show is that like it deals with topics that are right. so common and so universal, but it's you know kind of maybe taboo to to put on the air or something like that. Mm -hmm. And and in season four, I was like, okay, well, I feel like we've touched everything. Like, what else is there to talk about? But these writers are so amazing. Like, it's, I get surprised every time I get a script. I'm like, oh my gosh. I like, know. what? It's like, all right. But, yeah, no, that's definitely something that's so big and needs to be talked about, I think, because it's such a common thing and it shouldn't be. But people need to be aware of it. We kind of talk about the whole code blue, which is actually a real thing. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it was definitely a huge fear of mine growing up in school. So to kind of, like, be living through this as well, like, it's it, it was definitely a scary episode to film. Yeah, it looked scary. It's very intense. And between all of your cast members offset, what kind of roles do they play in the family? Like, who's more of the mom and who's more of the dad? Um, I don't, it's weird because I feel like 
at this point, the writers have kind of written for us. Yeah. Like, I feel like we're very similar to our characters in, in a lot of ways. Um, so, yeah, I feel like everyone kind of, like, on set at least. I mean, we're all great friends and everyone gets along, like, from the get-go. But yeah. um, I think at this point, like, it's we're very true to our characters in a way. I love that. Well, thanks. Thank thanks you. so much for talking to us. Of course. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this interview, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And in the comments down below, I'd like to know who is your favorite character on The Fosters. And make sure you check out The Fosters on Freeform starting June 20th.